Hello, hello, can you hear me? How can I know? Here. Am I on live? Not too sure if I am. Am I on live? Ooh. Not too sure if I am. Am I on live? Okay. Okay, thank you for coming, guys. I don't know how many people are watching at the moment. Five watching now. No, seven. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Can you hear me? Or can you see me? Oh, I have to turn on the lights, I think. I purchased these lights. It's just supposed to be brighter than the uh, lights you used to uh, have. No problem, yes we can, okay, thank you very much. Okay, great, 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 thank you. Were you guys here last time? I'm sorry that my washing machine is gone. I'm supposed, to, I thought it was gonna be done by this time, but it didn't. Were you guys here last time? Oh, first time, okay. It, if you can, you can tell me if you have the, you know, what grade you are. If you don't have grade, that's fine. If you have no grades, uh, or if you're thinking about doing Kendo in the future, I'm going to uh, just tidy up a little bit here. Still not clean. I'm going to just turn around so you don't have to see the dirty part. Okay. Let me see. EQ, great. Yes, I was here last time. Great. Ranha, yes, thank you. Thank you for the donation last time. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. My, my, my DVDs, thank you very much. Yeah, this is, I'm doing this for uh, fundraising. Of course, I want to keep doing this as much as I can. And... But mostly, I want to, the fundraising is to put closed captioning for, I'm, I want to put closed captioning for all the videos. So, as you know, I'm a native speaker. And sometimes I mumble, and sometimes I say things, diff, you know, uh, wrong. Or when I, when you talk, keep talking, you sometimes say, you think you're saying one thing, but you're not saying, you're saying something different. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. So I want to make sure that, um, you know, everyone understands me correctly. So I want to put closed captioning. Now I have more than 300 uh, videos here increasing, right? And so I calculated it, it's going to cost about $5,000 at least. So I need a lot of money to do so. And also I want to have some, I want to uh, publish at least two more books. Uh, one is for uh, adults, learners, uh, particularly focusing on one thing. So I'm, uh, I probably you guys know about missing pieces. Can do missing pieces. Oh, what's this? Oh, round half, fifth. thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, man. Man, thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, you know, I have goosebumps now. Thank you, round half. I really appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, and also two, two more books at least within nine months, almost eight months. Uh, so, I'm kind of uh, you know, working towards it. So, of course, I'm working from 7 to 4. And, of course, I have to drive, including all that. Almost I'm, be, I, I'm working. Luckily, I go close to uh, my work. I used to drive three hours a day. But now, one hour a day. So, I have two extra hours so I can do this as well as I can still work on my you know, books 
and also I'm helping Etnan Sensei. Uh, probably you're familiar with Surikaburi. Ich ni Sato Sensei for his uh, DVD as well. So a lot of projects are going. So, uh, you know, I really want to have things done with help, with those in the professional help, like closed captioning, they can transcribe, and then I check. I have to check. A lot of people don't know about, don't know Kindle terms, so I'll make sure they say things right, uh, they transcribe right. So, and of course I have to check. So I'm gonna minimize my work, hence, I need more, uh, I need to raise funds. And especially if you can help me, if you know someone who does transcription uh, professionally, let me know. I want to help Kindle community as well. Okay, so if, I, if you know someone professional, uh, transcription, um, what else? Uh, maybe like audio editing, video editing, maybe these areas, let me know, okay? So... If those Kindle community, uh, if I can, you know, a lot of people because of the COVID, a lot of people don't have, go, you know, enough work. Maybe, so if I can help the Kindle community, that is the best. Okay, so let me know. Thank you. Okay, uh, do you know of any dojo in Philadelphia? Philadelphia. Uh, it depends. Uh, you can go to my KindleGuide.com or Google. Uh, what do you call it? All US Kendo Federation. All US Kendo Federation, and there will be dojo list. So if you go, you know, uh, you know play around a little bit, you can go, uh, you can choose Philadelphia and you might find one, okay? Whoa! P what's PHP? <laughs> I don't know. Claudine, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, hello, I'm from Morocco. Oh, wow. We, we don't have a balcony here and we don't have Kindle culture. So I have difficulty to practice Kindle in Morocco. Where can I buy? I, have you asked me about that question before? Because uh, I kind of remember someone asked me. Boken or Bokto. Uh, if you don't have local uh, local budo uh, budo gu uh, budo shop like kendo shop, you have to go online. Now, when I buy bokto, my bokto, I always go to uh, shogun kendo gu. Okay, because uh, I know these guys. Uh, one is Blake Bennett. Uh, I think you, if you watch. Uh, interview with him one of my videos uh he is already there and he he is working with this guy who is in japan of course he's a kendo guy he that he he's a kote kote kendo glove craftsman and they uh they are trying to provide good quality kendogu kendogu is uh kendo equipment and i only get my bokto through them uh, one i want to help them Two, I know what they sell, <laughs> so uh, I strongly recommend you. Know, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't have to be Shogun Kendogu. If it's Shogun Kendogu, that it, you know that's great because they're my friends. But uh, if if you're adult and if you're serious about it, I strongly suggest. Of course, nothing wrong with uh, you know uh, other Kendogu, but because I know them. Uh, and if this, I know Japanese stuff uh, uh, pretty good. I recommend you to go uh, show a kendo, uh, huh? <laughs> shogun kendo, okay? So if someone can write it down, shogun, uh, let me, shogun kendo, okay, shogun kendo, copy and paste it. Uh, Google it, you can get it. You can get Bokto from them. I'm sure they are still shipping outside Japan. Japan, uh, I don't know. Now it's pretty, maybe it's getting better. Uh, my mother couldn't ship uh, anything from Japan by fast 
uh, 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 by air. So now she, we, she shared something for her grandchildren, my kids, by literally shipping, <laughs> uh, ship. So it's going to take a while maybe, but have a go, okay? And do -do 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 -do. I edit audio. Oh, really? Great, great, great. Uh, okay. I, I'm going to contact you. <laughs> Okay. Do you do Kendo? Nari, Nariyaga? Nariyaga? Okay. Philippines pesos. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cloud. Cloudine. I appreciate that. Do uh, from Mexico. De nada. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, I studied Kendo recently. Oh, great, great, great. In the US, I might see you in the future. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, Let's start. Turns out we have three doses in Philly as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Is that the... Yeah. I think Philadelphia. <laughs> I live in the US, but I'm not really... I don't really know. So Philly, Philadelphia is... Oh, man. I'm probably miss misunderstanding where yeah I was thinking Pittsburgh <laughs> sorry about that all right great great okay I'll contact you so Nariaga yeah oh it's near Pittsburgh yeah Pittsburgh uh, there is a Pittsburgh Uni University of Pittsburgh or University Pittsburgh University I don't remember I'm sorry, maybe two, there are two different things. But uh, part of uh, University Kendo Club belongs to East Central U.S. Kendo Federation, which I belong to. So if you go there, I might see you in the future. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, again, you can, you can uh, donate money here, but as you know, I have videos. I'm selling videos and I'm selling books on Amazon. And if you don't uh, have Amazon in your area and you cannot buy my products, uh, you can. I have a download version as well. So link links are in the description area. So please go ahead and check them out. Okay. And today I'm not too sure who uh, 16 watching. That's nice. Thank you very much. And I'm not too sure what level you guys are. And last time we did, um, what did, what did we bow? Bowing? A sitting bow, actually. Yeah. The reason why we start from left foot and how we carry a uh, sword, okay? And if we can do a quick review, All right? Let's say, let's say, Okay, I'm going to use, and if you keep uh, letting me know what grade you are, and if you don't have a grade, that's fine. I know I saw Ikkyu here, and I just started Kendo, and there's two people. I can, without a book, and I'm not just doing nothing. I practice with a cleaning stick. <laughs> that's fine. You don't, you don't have to, I mean, of course, if you have book, and that's great. Uh, but don't just buy cheap one. This is bloody cheap. This is from Amazon. I'm not saying Amazon is bad, but some people sell this cheapy stuff. I, I bought it to know what kind of bokto they were selling. This is the cheapest you could get, $12 bokto. If I hit something with it, it will shatter. I'm, I guarantee. And it has a lager. It's just... It looks like a real bokto. No, it's completely different stuff. So uh, I would say, okay, it is expensive to get things from Japan, but you get real stuff, okay? So uh, like I said, go to Kendo, uh, Shogun, Kendogu. I typed it out there. So please uh, check it out. 
And I think that's $65, $75 for two, two sauce, long one and short one. We call it uh, tachi and kodachi, okay? And once you get them one time, and you're going to use them for like almost the rest of the, you know, rest of your life. As long as you do kendo, it will last. Don't hit anything with it, <laughs> all right? Now, anyway, so... Let's say you have your sword in your uh, left hand. Martial arts here in the States and in Hong Kong. Oh, one hand, as, well, as far as I think, being in all of them. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Oh, you're welcome, Ranhard. Thank you. Thank you for your do donation. I really appreciate that. Okay. Now, here, of course, you have to lock. Okay, lock. Your tsuba, okay, with the thumb, okay. Left hand, uh, no, you usually right hand, okay. Usually, when you bokto, when you carry it around, carry it around in your right hand because of the etiquette, okay. If you have because you draw out your soul with the right hand, all right, as far as we, you know, rule wise, etiquette wise, you don't do this. Okay, so this is indicating that you're not, you don't have intention to draw out your sword. Okay, but when you have your sword in your left hand, okay, you have intention. That means you are seeing people around you as your enemies. That means you're not trusting them 100%. Okay, but anyway. So when you sit down, you slide your left foot back. I hope you can see my, or you can see my feet. Okay, left hand, right? Left, left foot. Okay, and go straight down. Don't go oh like this. Okay, straight down from here, straight down. Okay, and right foot, feet together. Okay. I put my big toe, right big toe, onto the left big toe. Okay, that's, that's what I learned. Okay? And some people probably learned toes together. Okay, I'm sure there are many different ways to set, but that's, those twos are most common in Kindle. Okay? Here and which way should be blade? Should blade sh facing? If you have your sword on your left hand side, okay, left hand, so left hand side, you have intention to draw out anyway, okay. So blade out, blade should be facing there, so you can go, okay, cut, right. When you have your Sword on your right hand side, blade should be inside. Okay, it's emphasizing if you have your blade outside, you can still draw out and sl uh, slash, right? <clears throat> but if you have your right hand side, that means okay, uh, no intention to fight, and blade inside, you are emphasizing I'm not gonna draw out. You can't draw out like this, katana, basically. Okay, so on your left hand side, already you have intention. Now, if you try to kill me, if you move, I'm gonna draw out my sword. That's my intention here. Okay, so I'm here, left, okay, left, and right, breathe in. Hey, onegai shimasu. Okay, why left? And I can still, I can go like this. Okay, so. Left, right. Now, all International Kendo Federation, we go both. Okay? So, <clears throat> now, in old days, we have a lot of Kenjutsu schools, different Kendo schools. So, that's why, uh, you know, we have different ways to do a lot of things. But in the International Kendo Federation thought, mm, okay, now Kendo becomes more international. We have to have one way. As Kendall, okay. That's why that's why it's go one. 
Okay? Like that. And make sure uh, your nose is above this triangle. Okay? To protect your nose in case someone is uh, push, your, push your head down into the ground. You can protect your nose. Okay? Uh, and both at the same time. Now, traditional, traditional way is right and left. Okay, left and right. This is, you do this in Iaido, right and left. That's how I, how I learned when I was a kid. Okay, and nothing wrong with other, you know, both. You can do either and you be flexible. If you go to someone else's dojo, they might do both hands, they might do this. Okay, follow their rules, be flexible. Okay, and grab your sword, all right, <clears throat> and straight up, right? So kiza first, kiza, kiza, okay? Kiza is toes up, okay? Kiza. And then, important part, <clears throat> right toe should be right, either, don't go past the left, left knee. So you're not going to step in forward. Keep your right knee inside. Okay? Like this. You, you can see how I'm sitting. Okay? Now, from here, go straight up. Okay, keep this line. Keep this line. Right? Go straight up. Straight up. Okay? Because you pull your left, left foot back. When you come up, left foot forward. Okay, and lower your sword. Okay, that's how you sit down, stand up, bow. Okay, when you bow, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, a lot of people say, Oh, thank you, and especially kids, but oh, thank you, Okay, when you become adults, you don't want to really enunciate. Okay, in your in your mind, you go, now breathe out. And breathe in. Relax. Now, this is not straight, okay? This is not good posture. You have to relax your chest. So I talked about Jo Tanden, Chu Tanden, Seika Tanden, okay? Jo Tanden is upper Tanden, which is, we, you know, it's a famous, uh, it's, you, people call it chakra. Right? Up at tandem here. Chu tandem. About chest. Solar plexus area. Chu tandem. Sega tandem. Connect those three. How? Just imagine. And relax. Relax. Not like this. Just. They are on the same line. Okay? Relax. Relax. Okay? And come out there. Okay. You don't want to do this, all right? Taito, taito. Nuke. What I do, nuke, I push my sword forward. Okay? Unlock your sword. Pull. Okay, nuke means draw, and to means sword. Nuke to means draw at your sword. Draw, not draw. <laughs> nuke, to, right? And... Sit in Songkyo, okay, Songkyo, 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 and come up. And twist your left foot back. When you go down Songkyo, okay, again, uh, Nuke, take a step forward, right? A little bit forward. Don't take a big step forward. Just a little bit. Just a little bit means when you go down and come up to come up, this is your fighting stance already. So you don't have to move around to get your fighting stance. Okay, from here, one, two, three. Okay, so you have to know what your fighting stance is. Okay, depends on your body posture. It's all different, all right? General idea, general idea is, okay, in, Textbook Kendo, textbook Kendo, one and a half fist away. Okay, your feet, right foot, left foot, between your those feet, one and a half 
fist away. Okay? Now, how much, how much you're going to have your right foot forward? Now, usually they say your right heel is on the line of the left toes. Okay, usually you don't want to, you shouldn't step over the sword. But I don't have any uh, anything other than sword. So this is the exception. Okay, don't step over your sword. Okay, this is textbook width of, of your feet, not a bit of how right foot, you should have your right foot forward. Now, my my recommendation, you don't have to do this. Listen to your sensei if you have a sensei, right? My recommendation, your right ankle and your left big toe should be on the same line. Okay? So a little bit closer than textbook uh, uh, stance. Okay? Nothing wrong with textbook stance. Okay? From my experience, I think it's, it feels good to me. Okay, plus, if you have a part too much, a lot of late starters have problem with um, footwork issue. Why do it get harder you move? Okay, harder you can move. So first, okay, just... This is fit together. Okay, this is fit together. I hope you am I, I should be here. Should be here. I'm trying to have a good angle. Alright. These are together. Now take a little step forward. Okay, this is my kind of stance. Chew down stance. When I take chew down, good or bad aside. Okay, don't judge me. Real bad aside. Now, from here, I'm going to sit in Songyo, but this is how. Twist your left foot. Okay, twist your left foot. Twist your left in. So your heel, left heel, goes towards your right heel. Okay? But this, a lot of people, when, when I teach this, a lot of people goes like this. <laughs> okay? Keep your chest... In, Towards your opponent. Your opponent is right in front of you. Right in front of you. Okay? And just twist your left heel. Doesn't have to com be completely touching. Okay? Just twist a little bit so it can go down. Okay? Now, you're going to go up again. Like when you did, uh, what do you call it? Cesar. From Cesar to up. Straight up. So someone's pulling you. But I, I talked about chu, uh, like, Jō Tanden, Chū Tanden, Seika Tanden, right? If you feel like, okay, now let's move my gravity up, center of gravity to my head. It's easier to go, come up. Okay? Why? I don't know. <laughs> this feels like it. The human beings is very funny. Interesting, in a way, full, <laughs> foolish. I don't know the word, but if you think, oh, I, my center of gravity is going down, I can go down really quick. Okay, and go. Whoop. It feels lighter. Okay, whatever it helps, right? <laughs> so you don't have to go <clears throat> like this. All right. So think like that. Right. There is no one way to accomplish one thing. So whatever it works, okay, you're doing the right thing. So whatever it works, that's good. Now this is chuda. Now how you chuda means uh, middle. I'm sorry, and chuda means mid level. Okay, jodan. We have jodan upper level, geda lower level, right? Chuda is considered as basic stance. So we always learn chuda first. Okay, this is my stance and all, okay? Now, you might realize, hang on, let me read through. <laughs> if title of his book, 
Kendo guide for beginners. But I can use my Yaido. Yaido Boken for Kendo practice. Yes, as long as it's yeah, for Yaido, yes. Uh, dear, dear, it's Kendo. Ah, thank you. Uh, thanks. Uh, but uh, uh, left handed should be go. No, no, left hand. Why in Kendo you cannot move like when they do in the fighting techniques like boxing and other martial arts? I'm not too sure about your questions. Left handed people, this is very common. Uh, what do you call it? Common question. Like, if you want to switch like this, I talked about it uh, last time too. So, and I have a video about that. So, if you uh, go uh, south south pole kendo or left handed kendo, you can you know kendo guide and left handed kendo or south pole. You can find these videos. Now, quickly, yes, you can. As a rule, because we have competition, regulation-wise, and also um, training-wise, there are no restrictions on this. But not many people do it because one, two, three, this is cultural and historical. Samurai carries their sword on their light, left, left uh, uh, hip, okay? This was the must, right? It's like you driving right side or left side. Once you decide, you got to do it because uh, they didn't want the, this, no one, they didn't want anyone to touch their sword. So this is wall, okay? This is wall side. No one's going to pass through here. That's how they used to walk, okay? And someone comes and touch your sword, okay? You can prepare, all right, to cut, all right? So that's why. So historical reason, you are carrying your sword on your left hip, okay? Now, once you draw out, okay, let's say, okay? And you switch. There's nothing wrong with it. Again, not many people do it, and it's going to be frowned upon. And mind you, this is the basic. Okay, this is the basic. And culturally, as long as I read, I, I, as, as my research goes, uh, you know, this was seen as, what do you call it? Surprise technique. So, you know, samurai, uh, uh, what do you call it? Mm. Samurai, samurai, the way of samurai has become bushido, right? Bushido, the way, you, how you should, how you want to live, how want you to uh, uh, spend your life, okay? So, you don't want, when you fight, it's not like, uh, however I win, I'm cool. It, it's, it is important to survive, but they really wanted to focus on how to win, of course. Okay. So, uh, so process was more valued. That's why, that's why this kind of thing was seen as jado. Jado means not the proper way. Okay, if you want to show, but of course, if you lose your left, right hand, you have to fight with the left hand, right? That's why it's important to train with the both hands, as Musashi Miyamoto says. Now, this is about killing. We are talking about kendo. It's not the killing part. Is how we train ourselves. So left-handed, right-handed doesn't matter, really. As long as you know the culture, you have respect the culture, towards culture and history, you learn history. And then I think, okay, stage, you know, switching hand is okay. Personally, in my personal opinion, 
because we have right nipple, left nipple, left jawline, right jawline, and switch him, hand jawline, right? We have many stances which not many people have seen. Uh, there's a Kai Sensei, he, he very old, uh, he, of, of course, it's a long time ago, so he has passed, you know, he passed, but he, he went like this, right hand here, left hand like that, it's going, boom, like this. Why not? <laughs> okay, but he was eight done. Basically, they can do whatever they want. But again, uh, you know, it's not prohibited, but I strongly recommend First, learn everything as is, right? And after that, you start doing, I do this sometimes because my, one of my students said, oh, can I do this? You can do this, but you learn this as well, okay? It's not because I, I'm, I feel good about this. I can be people like this. It's not like that, okay? Beaten is later, okay? You have to control yourself. And both, you can do this too. Itch, knee, sun, right? And if switch, itch, knee, sun. Practice both. Okay, nothing wrong with it. You can even, you know, you, you get even better. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> Little finger placements. Oh. Gracias por compatibilizar. Compartir esto. Let's compartir. <laughs> De nada. <laughs> I kind of remember what um, I forgot. Okay, so uh, pinky placement. Is that pinky placement? Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of ways to uh, people. A lot of people say a lot of different things. Three ways. Three ways. Okay. What I do is right. My pinky is right end of the skull. Okay, like this. Now, second, about a half. So half of your pinky is hooking at the edge. Of ska, okay, and other things like that, and wrap it around, wrap it around. Get some sense to do that. Three ways. Your preferences. I don't know which one is correct. I was taught to do this, okay, and also some sense says when you use shinai, half pinky, like I said, hook half thingy, thingy, pinky, half finger. <laughs> little finger on the edge of the uh, what do you call it? Tsukagashira. Tsukagashira is the end of the tsuka, the handle. Okay? Okay? That's how when you use shinai, when you use bokuto, bokuto is bokken, right at the end. Okay? And when you use uh, shinken or katana or iaito, okay, katana, okay, because of the knot here, you can't do this. So you have to do this, all right? All right, so different weapons, different ways of uh, grabbing it, using it, of course. So play around. I personally feel secure at the end like this, okay? So that's how I grab. But make V here, V, V here. Nice and relax, nice and relax. Relax your right knee, okay? And from here, and textbook. So, shall I talk about swinging a little bit? Okay. Oh, before I forget, uh, make sure you like the video. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, to the channel, please do. And you can get notification and probably you have a little bell. Uh, you can see a little bell 
click on that so it will notify you when I upload a new video. So please do that. Do those things right now. Okay. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell. Okay. <clears throat> From here, up here, right? Textbook. Okay, textbook says this is should be Migi Jordan level. Left hand, Migi Jordan. Okay. I personally suggest when for beginners go all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Left hand above your head. Not like this. Left hand above your head. Okay. The reason is just using your entire so from here. What do you call it? Shoulder blades. So use your shoulder blades and then <laughs> nice and big. A lot of people at the beginning. They go mm, all about hands, arms, too tight. Okay, kendo, you gotta use the body. The body starts from here, right? Here, your arms start from shoulder blades, not here. Okay, so mm. instead of using arms, feel your shoulder blade slice downwards and then. So shoulder, because shoulder blades move, your arm moves. This is arm. Your arm moves. And your shoulder blade comes up, your arm goes down. Imagine like that, okay? Ah, I can't really, okay, good. Can you see me? Okay, from here, right? And nice and big, all the way down, joge buri, okay, joge buri. Jo means up, ge means down, right? Low. Jo ge up. Buri is swing, down. Okay, now make sure, make sure, let me see my, whoop, over here. Okay. This is my posture. Okay, and some relax. And shoulder position doesn't change, right? Some people do this, okay? It's too low. You let your kensaki, kensaki is the tip of the sword, it's too low. And your left elbow, come, left elbow comes up, okay? See? And shoulder comes up. That's too low, okay? Keep this for there. Yeah. Okay, if it gets lower and lower, you feel pressure in your left wrist. It's gonna hurt you, okay, hurt your wrist. So you feel the pressure, okay, stop there, stop right there. And you don't have to, if you, if you wanna do this, that's fine, but you don't have to do it, okay? There's many ways to practice swings. I'm just showing you the basic way, okay? Here, pop. Ah, uh, okay, like that. Okay, left shoulder. Does it look like up? It does look like up, doesn't it? Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Maybe it's the way my shoulder looks from here. Top. Yeah. Top. Okay, and mind you, right elbow should be a little bit bent. It's not like this. Okay. Don't lock your elbows in. Okay. By the way, that's my way. If your sensor says do this, do it. But I don't suggest you to bang like this because it's gonna hurt your elbow, as you can kind of tell. If you go. Keep doing this, you're gonna hurt your elbow. So I'm afraid of you getting hurt if you do it too much. Okay, so uh, if adults, late starters, shouldn't be doing those things too much. It's to me, it's unusual. Unusual to go like that because you're kind of, you know, like. And MMA and all, all kind of all martial arts. If you do that, you are locking yourself. 
And if you keep doing that, you know, if someone is uh, trying to force your arm this way, it's going to break. You're self-doing that. So I don't really suggest you do that, okay, because I don't want you to get hurt easily from here. Like that, okay? And that's jogably. So you go, you can move left and not left, forward and back. Pop. Okay? Pop. Pop. Like that. Okay? Now, when you do suburi, you usually go one, left foot, come up, hands up, uh, right foot forward, down, right? And we say, snap up your back foot. True. Left foot, snap down. <laughs> your right foot, okay? Okay, this is Kiken Taichi Ki, energy. Okay, energy go, okay, and energy go. When you strike, man, energy and Ken, sword and Tai, all together. Okay, integrate all three elements together. That's important. Now, Kendo missing pieces in, in that video, I'm focusing on this Kiken Taichi. Okay, so if you have already started Kendo and start learning this, I want you to add this practice too. Okay, from here, as you can see, my left hand is above my right knee. Okay, and my left knee is straight. Okay, just like you are stretching your calf muscles. All right, from here. Okay. And, and because you are going to strike me like, like that, okay? This is your goal. Everyone wants to do, yeah, right? Okay? From here, instead of going backwards, okay, I want you to start shifting your weight forward. Now, keep this, keep this line, okay, straight. Don't lean forward, don't lean backwards. Keep it. Shift your weight forward. And then straighten. Don't kick the floor with the back foot. Straighten your right knee. And your left knee comes forward. Okay? That is this, this, this movement. Okay? Start learning that now. Okay? That's very important for you to know how to do it. All right? So, add this, okay? It doesn't have to be too low. It's not lunge, okay? It's not lunge exercise, okay? If it's lunge exercise, you can go as far as you want. But if you go as far as you want, it's harder to move, okay? If you're a beginner, you can challenge yourself, but I suggest comfortably you can do it is the best okay and then you can start challenging yourself from here shift your weight forward okay this comes forward turn around do the same thing okay okay Top. all right and you don't want to do it only right foot Right leg, so left foot too. Same thing. Le uh, left hand above your left foot, left knee. Start shifting your weight forward. Mm. Straighten your left knee. Excuse me, I have my knee injury. Left knee. So I can't really do it as good as. Right? Start shifting. Mm. Okay, so I want you to do that as an exercise for future menstruation. Okay, this is very important for everyone. Okay, any questions so far? Oh, no worries, Ranhard. 
We should talk about a lot of things. You have to see the roof, roof of my room doing that. Ha ha ha. When you strike, how fast should I be? Okay. B N S F sixty <laughs> nine. Do you do Kendo? Probably a dumb question, but oh, um, okay, that's you. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Assume you don't do Kendo, but Yaido maybe. What's the question? <laughs> When you strike, how fast should Shinai be from the body? Okay, let's talk about your left hand. Okay, it's not about sword. It's about balance. Okay, you can have your Shinai as far as you want. But what happens here is your, 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 your arms are going forward, but your, your, left, your body is left out, left behind. Okay, so in Kendo, because of this motion, you're going forward. So keep your shoulders in as practice purpose. Okay? Ideal, can, ideal strike is before, nice posture. During, nice posture. After, nice posture. You got to keep this posture before, during, after. Okay? That is the ideal posture, ideal strike. Okay, so that's your goal. Now, to do so, if you stretch out your arms, see what happens? What happens is your, your chin is going up too. Okay, and I have shoulder issues. If I do that, I always, I already feel, I, I'm already feeling pains in my shoulders. So I, I don't do it. I keep my shoulders here as much as I can for training, okay? In, in fighting, maybe I go stretch out a little bit, but I, my aim is keep my shoulders in here so I can fight longer. If I do this, only supporting muscles is here. You, are, you have to support this and this arm, Weight, weight of shinai, weight of your arms, only with shoulders, cut, uh, rotator cuff around here. Now, you have to use bigger muscles. Let's, uh, I want to use bigger muscles because it hurts. I've already uh, uh, hurt my shoulders enough using, you know, stretching out to reach out. Uh, so I don't recommend about here, okay? So if I say, you know, strike men, you get left hand above your right knee, okay? If you go like this, you know, further, further, it's harder, right? It's not comfortable. So it's comfortable and shift your weight and go forward. This is your mesh, okay? This is mesh, mesh strike. It's harder to say. Uh, how far it should be. One, keep this. Keep your shoulders here. And when you strike, man, keep this in. Keep, fixate your shoulder position. And then go up. Okay? Pop. So that's man strike. Okay? Man. 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 Okay, so that's how you do. Okay, I cannot watch this because I must go to school. Oh, study hard. Don't get COVID. I have a question when practice super. Try to make as much as I can, but I can't avoid the question. How do I know I start to improve? How important is semi and tummy before striking was that? Woo! As shodan, I need to show semi and techniques. <laughs> Also about Ojibaza, hidari no, hidari do must be. <laughs> That's a lot of questions. Okay, this video will be saved. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, wash.
Okay, let's talk about. Okay, I don't have much time. I have a meeting, a uh, club meeting soon. So, question, uh, question for Shodan. Real quickly, semi and tame for Shodan, not very important. Okay, for Shodan, Nidan, Sandan, what I want and what I think you should do based on the criteria. Uh, if you find, if you go to my uh, playlist, find, I have many videos. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send you the video link. It's, a, it's called, I don't even remember what, what it's called. <laughs> we have, I have video series for Nina, Shona Nina Sanda level. What you want here is ta ta, okay? Man, strong, one step, one cut, strike. Now, Shoda Nina Sanda is pretty much the same, but as you go up, it has to be, it has to be smooth. You have to go, yeah. Okay, now seme is for fourth down. There's no clear cut, but seme, seme is not one, two, okay? Seme is pressure, right? I'm going, I'm going, I, I, I'm not going. This is seme too, I'm going, I'm going. It's mental pressure, okay? So it's very important to understand seme. As a tame is a part of seme, okay? One, two, okay. I'm already in my striking distance, okay? But I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go yet. What about you? Are you gonna come here? I'm gonna strike me, are you gonna strike me? This is tummy. Okay, building up the pressure. Okay, building up the pressure as a part of a semi. Tame is, imagine you're kinda, oh, you know Kamehameha? Dragon Ball? Kamehameha, that's tame. It's getting energy. It's like, you know, you know, intensity is growing here. Intensity is growing. Yeah. Okay. 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 Are you coming now? Are you coming now? I can go if you move. I can go if you move. This is already seme and also tame as well. But it's more complicated than that, uh, I think. I'm kind of getting into the understanding of tame. Okay. So I can just give you a little bit of the idea but. That's tame. Okay, you're still semi. Okay, but building in intensity and tension. Right? That's tame. Okay, it's like before you kudo, born error. Tame, 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 Right. Well, anyway. Okay, I can't watch. I can't watch it. Uh, it is midnight. Oh, don't worry. Thank you for coming. Good night. Okay, I don't know why Nariaga laughing that, that hard. <laughs> okay. Ojiwaza, uh, hidari do must be backwards or can't be also front diagonal. Okay, hidari do, hidari do, right? It's usually hikigiri, pulling back, pulling back, but bang, and you can go forward too. Uh, old technique, they used to go Pum, going forward as well. If you do that, I don't think you can get a valid cut because no one knows that. Uh, well, maybe all those sensei knows if you go strike really whack it, pretty good. Of course, it has to be valid. But generally speaking, Hidaido is basically go backwards. Pum, this backwards. And you can go forward. Okay, so there are many uh, techniques that you probably never seen before. But I've never seen people going tum, going forward. But I know there was such technique because my sensei told me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's about time. I'm sorry I can't go as far as I want to go. Uh, make sure you please give me uh, feedback. 
like what you liked about this video and what I can improve in the video, you know, so uh, I can have better idea of what you guys want. Uh, you know, productivity is good. Uh, if you just say, oh, I didn't like that, but I don't know how I can improve it. So if you can tell me what you liked and what I can improve, that would be great. And also, like I said, this is the fundraising uh, effort. So if you can still super chat me, uh, that would be great. And again, thank you for those who super chatted me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And again, uh, I have uh, Kendo Learning Products. Uh, there's a link in uh, below this video in the pre, uh, sub, uh, description area, so please check it out. And if you uh, feel like buying, please do so. That will support me too. And another way to support me is like this video and subscribe to it and to the channel and hit the uh, notification button, the little bell uh, mark. So that would be very helpful and spread the words. That will be helpful to oh. Ashley. You're welcome, Ashley. I'm gonna see you in a bit. <laughs> She's my student. Thank you, Ashley. I really appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rod. Thank you. Uh, bold boo joy, bold boy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, please give me, if you give me uh, questions ahead of time, I can kind of uh, Google. If you're short on Nina Sun and they're great videos, uh, I still don't remember what they're called. <laughs> Playlist. So probably I will paste those links here okay, after this. All right. Thank you for watching and come in uh, Monday. You know, there are 15 people watching and please make sure share it and like it, sub subscribe it and hit the bell button. All right. Thank you for watching and coming. I'll see you in the next week. Thank you very much. Hey,